So by now you've realized you don't want to stay scrawny and weak or chubby and fat, but you kind of hate lifting weights and you're a little bit lazy. What can you do? You know, I never wanted to be a gym meat head. I wanted the ability to eat bread, but I also didn't want to look like a meat face. What's the right pathway for me? The following clips are just to show that we've never been gym guys, more so sports guys. Oh, we got to talk about it, guys, because I am talking about lazy shortcut fitness. Wow, David. First of all, the fitness influencers out there, they're not going to like this because they're all trying to make you look like an 8% body fat ripped anime guy out there, okay? Right. Or that. a bodybuilder. So, David, their fitness influencers aren't going to like this because they say you just got to put in the work. Just put in the work. Right, right, right. Guys, listen, we are at peak looks maxing, body maxing fitness influencer right now. And a lot of them have great information, but but it's just not relevant because they love lifting out of 10 out of 10. They might even have 10 out of 10 genetics and 10 out of 10 incentives and motivation from day one. Most people are not like that. Most people are like three out of 10. So I developed a minimalist, lazy shortcut plan for the majority of people out there. And, and David, uh, how did you develop this? Is because, it from personal experience? Yes, yes, yes. Because I am a lazy person who hates lifting and I still don't really like it. I like it more than I did. So this is why this plan is relevant for the majority of people watching because the majority of people out there will never be in a bodybuilding competition. Right, this is a lazy person speaking to other lazy people out there. So watch this video, let us know if it's helpful, think about it, because it could work for you. You guys, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, share this with a friend, check out Small Ass Sauce on Amazon right now. And here's four reasons why the lazy shortcut method works for most people. So after we talk about these four reasons, we are gonna get into the specific lifts and the workouts that you like to do and that I also like to do. Point number one, most people are not trying to be anything close to bodybuilders, but most influencers are. Mm -hmm. So there is a gap between the teacher and the student. Right. So you have a super jacked teacher there telling you how to meal prep, telling you how to do this delt workout like four different ways at four different angles, and then work out, oh, this abdomen, this pack right here, you're going to define it by doing that. It's like... It's a little bit unrelatable at some point. It's not wrong information. I'm sure it probably works, but it's just not something people are going to pick up. Lazy shortcut training only takes 30 minutes a day, five times a week. It's probably the Goldilocks solution for most people. It's the Lexus IS. It's the Tesla Model 3. Point number two, consistency is key. If you do the lazy shortcut method, you can lift at home. You can keep it very simple. You can do it while you're watching YouTube. There's really low barriers to entry. You know what I noticed that a lot of people, they'll work out with their friends. When all their friends go work out at a cool gym, you go to your Equinox, your brand new LA Fitness, your 24-hour fitness. You put on when, your outfit. Yeah, when you, all of your friends go, it's a social thing, and then you'll lift weights. But if you only do that once a week, you're not going to see the results fast enough. Right, because you're waiting for everybody's schedules to align. You and have to figure out a way to do it almost at home in your living room. Like literally, if you can find yourself to work out that way, you're going to be golden. Point number three, people get caught up in the details. I think a lot of people, they look up the, the house decorations before they get the fundamental house frame down. Mm. They're already thinking about interior design, Andrew. They should be worried about the frame of the house. Wow. And the frame of the house is just eating right, sleeping right, lifting tight every night. Lifting tight means keep your routines with really good form, but keep them really short. Right. Because if they're really short, then you'll just do them because you'll be like, oh yeah, it wasn't that hard. I just needed to pump my muscles up today and get, get a little boost. And point number four, Andrew, you can do these lazy shortcut routines with your friends, everybody from your buff friends to your weak friends. You just change the weights and reps accordingly. And uh, since the equipment is so small, you can even bring it with you to become social. All right, David, let's get into these lazy workouts 
and the weights that people should buy, the things that, you know, you thought worked for you. And by the way, guys, here are some different levels of buffness that I pulled off the internet. You know, you've got badminton guy, tennis guy, basketball guy, me, then you Simu. Then there's all these guys that almost look like the Korean Hulk. And then the peak Andrew Fung, <laughs> the peak buffness. Um, but yeah, like we said, guys, we're not trying to look like these guys right here. Jeff Nippard, shout out to him. These other guys, it's physical 100. We're just trying to look the best version of what's sustainable for us. Yeah, point guys, if you're trying to look like a bodybuilder, don't watch this video. Don't even watch, yeah. Uh, point number one, start with the easy curl bar or maybe a straight bar for anything arm or chest related. So basically, a lot of people, they're going to start off with dumbbells, Andrew, or they're going to go straight to the bench press, like you said, with their friends at the, at the gym. But if you get an easy curl bar, specifically a smaller one, uh, they, have, they, they, they make ones out of plastic. They make ones out of metal. This is going to be your perfect at-home everything item. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think this can do almost... I mean, you could work out almost every body group with this bar, right? With adjustable weights, right? Maybe you don't have it a locked weight, but maybe you can... Yeah, And you don't have to go too heavy. Like, right. geez, you know, like you just need to feel that there's weight on it. Right, and then basically it's a reps. mini barbell. Right. Whether it's a straight bar or easy curl bar. Andrew, in the past in the weightlifting world, people thought this, this was literally only for biceps, but as minimal training has become more popular and lazy shortcut training or like home gyms have become more popular, especially during Ovid, people discovered you basically can literally do every single exercise in the entire gym with an easy curl bar. Right, like a power, you could even do a power clean, you can work on your biceps, your triceps. You could, you could do could bench do chest. presses. You could do chest, you can do squats with it. Yeah, you could yes, pretty yes, much do yes, everything. Yes. Okay. And the reason why it's perfect for uh, people that basically hate lifting weights is because you don't need any form coaching. It's a tiny piece of equipment that fits in a tiny bit of space, and it's very, very easy on the joints. Most people who hate working out, Andrew, they don't have the tendon strength. They don't have the wrist strength or the elbow strength or the stabilizer muscles, and basically the easy curl bar eliminates the hyper need for some of those things. Mm. Basically, it mitigates the downside. Uh, you can get a lot of different grips on it to work out a lot of different muscle groups. Like we said, you can do everything from like curls and squats with it. Basically... It's just the only things that are bad about the easy curl bar is it's not good for putting on major weight or like mass growth, right? You like you can't get super jacked like a bodybuilder with an easy curl bar, but you absolutely can look like Cristiano Ronaldo, a soccer player. Right. And you think this is better than having an adjustable dumbbell set? Yes. The reason why I prefer it is because the dumbbells, sometimes they're really uncomfortable for people the way that they're oh, like got that it. they're going i'm not saying dumbbells aren't better in a way but i actually think people are really overlooking the easy curl bar how natural it feels because the wrists are in a very natural position right because it kind of tilts your wrists a little bit versus a uh the dumbbells they're straight usually. you don't really feel like you're lifting with an easy curl bar when mm. when your wrists are like what they call it supinated where they're super twisted and you're lifting something heavy yeah it's good for you but it like it it feels like hard work mm -hmm. um yeah i just think it's like it's almost like you know andrew we ride the u scooter gt sports around those aren't the most powerful scooters but those are the perfect scooters for us. And the perfect scooter for you, probably, if you live in a city. By the way, we got a Fun Bros code at uscooters.com right now. Point number two, Andrew. Use a leg press for most of your leg day as your main exercise. Like, if you do have access to a gym and you have an easy curl bar at home, that means when you do go to the gym, you can go straight to the leg press. Mm. Because a lot of people, they end up getting caught up in the arms. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how, like, everybody else is, like, lifting in the mirror? Well, because arms are cool. That's yeah. what gets you arms and chest. That's the, that's the cool thing. You're talking about pecs, no pecs, no sex. Yeah, no pecs. You won't even get a text. Right. But I'm saying that because you've already taken care of the majority of that with the easy curl bar at home, when you go to the gym, you can go straight to the leg press, which is a piece of equipment very few people have in their house. Right. So, um, yeah, there is ways that you can go around. You know, there's a trap hex bar and stuff like that. But the reason why I love the leg press is you just sit in it like a chair, you change the stack weight with a pin and you get to work. Right. Yeah. And I just think that if you look at squats, Andrew, there's so much form involved. You can hurt yourself doing squats. Mm. Um, and then obviously there's hack squats too. But basically, I mean, you could do everything with the easy curl bar though. Like we said, you could squat with it. You could do lunges with it. You could still get a leg workout. Number three, Andrew, lat pull downs are huge because there's probably, if you had to pick one machine to get your whole back done, it would just be a lap pull down. Right. 
And the crazy thing about a lat pull down is there's so many grips for it. You can go overhand, you can go underhand. Basically, this is all you would need. Um, maybe seated rows would be number two, but literally this would be all you would need for your pull day. Got it. Because there's three, three movements, right? You want push, pull, legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and obviously, depending on how you uh, use the lat, whether you're you're using the backhand or the front hand or wide grip or narrow grip, it's going to work out different parts of your back. Right. So really, right there, Andrew, that's all you need. Literally, I mean, first of all, you could just stop at easy curl bar. Mm -hmm. And especially they have these uh, dumbbell converters now that turn two dumbbells into easy curl bar. If you had dumbbells, especially if you want to add that on with the easy curl bar, you would could be done right there. Yeah, and the easiest way to buy a lot of these dumbbells, guys, if you don't want to buy them brand new or the easy curl bar, you can go on Facebook Marketplace. A lot of people are trying to get rid of workout equipment that's heavy uh, because they're moving or they are got to a gym or something like that. I know in the big cities, it's very easy to find a lot of workout equipment secondhand and you could build your own home gym, but not even build your home, home gym. We're literally just saying you get some weights at home. It's the easiest way in your garage Find a way you like it. Turn on some YouTube videos and just start lifting, you know, and that's I, the first thing. I just bought a padded, easy curl bar converter for dumbbells. So, Andrew, we got 20s, 30s, and 40s dumbbells, right? And you literally can, can convert it with this, yeah. like, metal conversion bar into an easy curl bar. So, I could turn it into, like, uh, 40s or 60s or 80s yeah. on the easy curl bar. Yeah, and I, and I think for a lot of people, remember, remember it's like, if you can find yourself to enjoy lifting or even get through a lift 30 minutes by yourself without anybody pushing you, without a trainer pinpointing every single little thing. I mean, sometimes when you like go lift with your friends who are more into lifting, they'll like over criticize how you do it. Sometimes that takes the fun out of lifting. Mm -hmm. I know that you don't want to lift too heavy with bad form that can really hurt yourself. But if you're not doing that heavy, you can do imperfect form for a while and then adjust later. You just really have to build up this desire to lift. Right. That's the key. Is And it's just a desire to lift for like 30 minutes every other day. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if your form is at a seven out of 10 level and up, you're good. You don't need to stress and watch like a thousand YouTube shorts about getting your form to 10 out of 10. Right. Obviously 10 out of 10 is better, but if you're just never going to get there, there's people who are ripped who lifted at a seven out of 10 level their whole life. Yeah. And then, I mean, I think the good thing about having dumbbells, you can do farmer carries. I like medicine balls. Uh, so anything that's heavy, really you could, I mean, who doesn't take the pack of waters and do some curls with it when you get the 24 or 32 pack of waters. You know you grab it by the plastic ends until you think the plastic is going to rip and stretch, and you're just doing the curls. Right. Ah! So listen, guys, here's my plan. And like I said, I'm not going to get super technical with it because everybody's like flow is going to be different. Just get an easy curl bar, whether you get an easy curl bar converter, maybe if it's a straight bar, if you don't like the way the easy curl bar feels on your wrist, I think 80% of people are going to enjoy the way it feels on their wrist. And then just do complex combos, Andrew, which would be like a dead left into a uh, bicep curl into a hand clean or something like that. And you could do it for 30 minutes while you're watching TV or YouTube videos. Right. Literally, if you do that, you're going to get your cardio in. You're going to get your arms in. You easily could get your legs and your back in with the squats and the lunges if you wanted to. And you would be done absolutely for the day, but you'd still have enough energy to go to the gym with your friends if they wanted to go later. Mm. Yeah, like we said, Andrew, this is not going to turn you into a bodybuilder by any means, but I think for the vast majority of people, that's not even what their goal. Right. Like they're trying to just get the sucker body. Exactly. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think of my lazy shortcut, hyper minimalist, you know, training regimen. Like I said, the leg press and the lat pull downs, that is more so actual gym equipment, but you could go straight to those if you already do your arms at home, or like I said, with the easy curl bar, especially one that's padded or grip with a grip, you could get everything done. All right, everybody. Those are lazy weightlifting tips from guys who do it. So let us know what some of your shortcuts are. Uh, are there shortcuts to building muscle? There actually are. You don't all have to be like a bodybuilder with like 8% body fat, guys. You mean where you're worried about insertions and tendon attachments and yeah. styrations and yeah, all hey, this like hey, stuff that they care about. Hey, man, 15, 16% body fat will get it done. You don't have to be crazy, all right? So anyways, uh, let us know in the comments down below what you guys think is useful. 
And if you found this information useful. And until next time, we out.